Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a new series. This is called Thea, The Awakening, um, Return of the Giants. Which I don't know what that means because I've never really played the game. I've only played literally, I don't even know, an hour of like the first campaign. Um, so um, I was doing pretty well. And I, I, like I said, I haven't really played. I've been watching someone else play. Uh, a fellow by the name of Wade Starr. Uh, did um, a several series a while ago. I'm watching him play. He's pretty awesome. Seems to know what he's doing. So I figured I would give it a go and maybe see if we can't, um, you know, have some fun with it. So here we go. I'm going to do a new game. Um, Mokosh here. Mokosh. I played a little bit. Um, so if you play with, depending on what, what um, god you pick to start off with or whatever these things are. Yeah, they're gods. Um, you get um, bonuses. So if I were to play with her, for instance, I would get um, my villagers were, are, are more clever and they research everything faster. Um, and then this tells you a little bit about the god. Um, so since, since this is my first time playing, I'm just trying to show you the game. I'm not going to go ahead and like play on a really hard difficulty level with whatever. I'm just going to, and from what I understand, these gods up here are random. I think you always start off with her, and then the other one you get is random. So let's go ahead and play with her. So because she actually is level 2, because I, I, I played a little bit before. I played about an hour, maybe two hours. She was able to level up, and so now my gatherers will get um, a plus one bonus to gathering. So anyways, okay, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to customize the difficulty... I'm going to focus on warriors, which means that I think that 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 means my starting village will have mostly warriors in it, or I'm not, or maybe they'll produce warriors. I don't really know what that means. I don't think there's any way to find out, but I'm pretty sure that's what that means. So, uh, wait, maybe this will help me. Um, okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Focus the turns on what will be the main class of your villagers. So, okay, so that makes sense. So, craftsmen obviously build stuff, gathers gather stuff, and warriors are able to go out and, and start fighting and stuff. And uh, so, let's go ahead and let's do normal difficulty, but I want to customize a little bit and see if maybe I can't. Uh, I wouldn't mind having the world size be bigger, maybe. Okay, it looks like it makes it a little bit harder. World progression controls how fast more difficult challenges show up. Also affects character progression speed. Um, economy controls gathering, crafting, and research difficulty. Okay. Um, uh, challenges. Uh, bloodbath off. What the heck is that? Okay. When on wounds. Okay. We don't want to go crazy here. Realism. You can only have one type. Okay, it looks like that's not a good time. Okay, so... Well, like I said, we're just trying to play the game. Okay, I didn't... Okay, so 80% I think is... Whatever, let's go ahead and... And let's just get the plane. Okay, here we go. Mother Earth... Life, birth, and nature are your domain. You're once supreme goddess, ruling alongside Perrin. But now, now everything has changed. The darkness devoured your beloved Thea and tarnished all life. You kept a handful of chosen worshippers alive in the, in the bosom of your power, but they are weakened, lost, and scared. You must do all you can to restore balance and to keep your people alive. Thea is awakened. Welcome. No time to waste. You are a deity of the High Pantheon, and you must help your worshippers survive the darkness. So what now, you ask? You are divine, yes, but you have little power, and so you will know the world through your people's eyes. This means sometimes you will encounter your own divine messengers, and maybe even face your own avatars. Weird, I know. Your first mission is to survive. Every critter is trying to make sure you stay down. So get food and craft better equipment to protect yourselves. You will guide your people to victory 
either by sheer survival and progress or by solving the cosmic trees mystery. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the, the tutorial because, well, we're gonna pretend like we're all new here, okay? I am but a messenger. Theodore, you can call me, but let us focus on you. Thea is a broken land. The underworld is shut and the undead roam the earth and creatures of darkness that ruled for a century want you dead. Okay, so I need to improve our village and people, so how do I get started? First, go and explore your village. Check the inventory to see your stocks and set people to gather food and fuel, like wood. Without food, people will starve. And without fuel, they will not craft or even heal, so these are really important. Okay, gather food and fuel at the village. Anything else? Yes. Once you've visited your village, check out the people standing outside. The exploring party. Select your party and send them to me. I will wait for your people outside the village. I have marked your people's map with a big blue question mark so they will see where I am. Oh, and if you ever forget what your current task is, just check out your logbook. All right, so check out my village and people first, then send them your way. Let's begin. Enter the minds and bodies of your worshippers and begin the adventure. Okay, we get one experience for that. Okay, so this is the map. Uh, there is a shroud. Looks like there's an enemy here of some kind, that little red thing right there. Uh, this is my party. This is my city. From what I understand, there are hotkeys for all of these things over here. Uh, we have one research. We, uh, Astoya is the village. It has four people in it. 15 days worth of food, 25 days worth of fuel. Um, so I think what I want to do actually is probably take these guys, move them into here. And then I think we're going to go ahead and join these together. So now we have all 10 people in one area. So let's go ahead and open up this. Um, okay, so... Okay, so we can gather nuts and wood are what we have inside of our city. And as you can see, there's some leather right here, some more wood over here. This is probably dark wood, maybe? Dark wood. Um, if you close the screen here and you zoom out, if you click this right here, it'll show you on the map what, you have to, what you're looking at. Okay. As we walk through here and uncover, uncover the shroud, we'll, we'll uncover new things to do new places to go, and also new resources. Um, and then if you can see how the dark wood is gray, it's because we have not researched the ability to be able to gather it yet. So if we wanted to gather it, we'd have to actually select that. So all the ones that have check marks are things we can pick up right now. Oh, I didn't know amber wasn't automatically. Okay, that's interesting. So the thing to check marks we can pick up right now, the things with one we could pick up right now because we do have um, a little bit of science there. Um, and then the things that are question marks, I'm assuming are revealed once you actually purchase the thing that's in, in front of them. So, um, yeah, okay. And that's gathering. We also have crafting. You can, uh, craft weapons, armor, uh, new kinds of food, um, stabs, bows, all that kind of stuff. And then we can do buildings, uh, blacksmith, uh, pastures are already selected for us. What's this guy? A watchtower. So there's all these buildings, and they all have different attributes and things that they do to help um, your city. So Okay, so uh, one of the things in this game that can be really uh, time-intensive, let's go ahead and see what we start off with, because everyone starts off with different things. So we start with 90 food. Um, uh, looks like 10 coal. That's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, we're not going to burn the coal. We're not going to burn that. And we're not going to burn that. This is dark wood, right? So I just want to burn the regular wood because we can get that. Whereas the other ones are not, we cannot, we cannot get these readily right now. So I don't want to burn those. I want to save them for special things. Okay, so we will use that food. Okay, so inventory management in this game is pretty important because you have uh, people with different skills. We have all this equipment here in our inventory. If you click on somebody, it tells you who they are. It tells you all their attributes down here. It tells you their health. It tells you their class. So this one is a warrior. 
We've got one, two, three, four, five, five warriors. This is a gatherer. This is a crafter. So we have two crafters, two gatherers, a medic, and then a bunch of warriors. Are any of these warriors grab your, okay, one gather, one, okay, they all have one gather, right? Any of them at all have any kind of, like, nothing, so, interesting, okay, so. New expedition. Um, this is how you build a party. New Expedition, I wanted to, um, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that, um, equipment, okay, so, I was trying to see what everybody has equipped as far as weapons and things like that, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of unequip everybody real quick. This is something in the game that I've seen, you know, uh, people take a long time doing. Um, and it's pretty crucial as far as making sure that everybody is, you know, ready for the challenges to go out into the world there and do some damage. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll do our new expedition. We're going to make a party. It's going to be our medic and probably all of the warriors. So our party's going to be six. We'll leave these four guys at home to build and stuff. Um, so now, so that's how you make the expedition night. Then you go down to weapons. Um, we'll probably want to, um, here, we can select over here. Okay, so this guy looks like our strongest warrior, maybe. Strength, two, nine strength, 11. Seven, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and start outfitting these guys. We have two-handed weapons, one-hand weapons. As you can see, when you hover over something, it highlights the place it goes to. Um, these ivory short swords, <laughs> one damage, uh, three damage. This guy does nine, and I'm looking at these by basically looking um, at the stats down at the bottom where it says armored armored arm and then next properties materials okay so that's what i'm looking at right now so we obviously want some people to be equipped and i'm just shift clicking left to fill up those spots so let's see here the best weapon i have the most damage nine there nine there ten but it says it's bad quality I'm not sure what bad quality means i think it means it's heavy Okay, so this is piercing damage, which means that if I put the person out in a fight, they'll attack first. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this going here. Uh, let's go ahead and give them the strongest weapon. And then what kind of shields we got here? Okay, well they don't get they don't get a shield because it's two-handed. Four armor, nine armor, nine armor. Since they have the best weapon, let's give them the. Well, they're not have they don't have a shield, so I might as well go ahead and give them some decent. We'll give him that one right there. Okay. And then this is what? Backstab and folklore. Okay. All right. Next. This is our, our one of the most, what's it called? Um, can carry the most. 160, 220. Let's give him the, this one right here. And then we'll go ahead and give him the nine armor. Okay. Next. This guy right here. We'll go ahead and give him once again, that guy right there, the armor, and what does this guy do? Distraction, bad, and armor, okay. He's got the bad armor though, not good quality armor. All right, next is another fighter. Now we're gonna start doing with the, okay, this is four, three, one damage, three damage, two damage. That's four shield though, that's not bad. Five shield, okay, so let's give him that guy right there. And then we'll give him the, kind of, I guess the worst of the shields. 
Oh, I have two of those? Interesting. Do I have two of those? Yes, I do. Okay, I have four of these. Okay, I didn't notice that down there. So I have four of these shields. Okay, so let's give you that shield then. And then next we have one and four, three and five again. And we'll give you one of those. And then that's it. So now we can give somebody else a ring of, and then this ring. So let's go ahead and give this guy this ring. And we'll give this guy this ring. Okay, so I think we're pretty good there. Everyone has a, everyone, everyone in the party, oh, we don't have, everyone in the party has one, okay. Now, the clerics can only carry a hundred worth of weight. So he could take this sword, and then that's pretty much it. He's not going to be able to carry anything else. Two damage. F four shielding, that's pretty good. Five damage. Okay, so... That's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and give him some, um, we have to give him some, f some wood. Um, so expedition, let's give him like five. And they're going to need some food, so we'll give him some food. Maybe like, I don't know, 20. So now we have three days worth of food and five days worth of fuel. Okay, we'll give him more than just 20. Maybe like 30. That's better. Okay. And maybe half of these herbs. Yeah. Uh, the herbs are medicine, cooking. Okay. Will help what? Fighting plagues. Okay. So that's good. The party's made. It's done deal. We're going to go ahead and say create it. Boom. Okay. So Theodore wanted us to go over here. So we'll take these guys and we'll go ahead and if you hold in the l right to mouse button it'll show you where you, how far you can go if you notice um, up here it shows you the movement spaces you have left so they only had five four they made it so let's go ahead and hit this um Theodore welcomes you well hello there I see you're finding your feet and making first steps into the world well done all right so now what events such as meeting me will occur throughout your adventures. Sometimes they are random, sometimes predestined, and always varied. Events can occur when you're out exploring, but also globally, or within your village. So remember, leaving your settlement unattended may be dangerous. Okay, duly noted. Right, events can occur at any time, both within the village and out in the world. Many events will ask you to bring stuff or do things in order to move to the next stage. I asked you before to gather food and fuel in your village. So you can gather resources in your village, but also by setting up a camp when you're out exploring. To set up camp, stand on an empty hex and choose the tent icon from the mini HUD. Right, we can gather by setting up camps in the world. Got it. Good. Now events can lead to conversations or just random disasters, but they can also lead to challenges. To show you what I mean, track down a pack of boars nearby, marked by a blue question mark, and bring me back their bones. All right, point me in the right direction of those boars. All right, we got one experience and one science. The science is right here, so we have one out of 15. These are the boars that want me to take on, which are one giant wild boar and four other wild boars okay but before we finish our turn because this is a turn-based game we're going to go into our city and we're going to look at what we can do we need to gather things so we're going to gather so we have our two gatherers you can see because they're they've got the gather and our two workers okay so the gatherers you um since it takes 72 to get this for and 54 to get this, I'm going to put this guy here. It takes two turns, and this guy here, and that takes two turns. So, every two turns, I will get seven wood. I have 15 right now. Every two turns, I'll get 12 nuts. I have zero right now. Okay? So that's how you gather what you're going to gather. Uh, this guy has a gather of five, which means he gets 50. This one has six, which means you get 60. So basically, whatever the number is there, that's how many, that's times 10 is what they get every time. 
Now we can go to crafting. Okay. So we can craft a couple of different things. Uh, gathering tools is actually pretty nice to have the option to do right away. What's this, wicker? So four wicker. And if you notice, you need a primary material. And that material looks like hay or whatever, but it doesn't necessarily always mean that that's the only item go there. Okay, for instance, this is wood, but it could be this is what, it's, it's hard to explain. Um, yeah, so regardless, our prim primary material we can use is wicker. Put that there. Secondary can be any one of these three things. It could be a kind of leather, a kind of string, or clay. Uh, the best one could be string, let's find out. And then I would think I'd want to use, let's see what the wood does. Okay, so um, this would give me a basket that gives me a gathering of three. Now you can switch things around. For instance, we can put this here instead. Now see if that changes anything. It does not. It stays the same. Okay, we can swap out that wood for this instead. Once again, nothing changes. So you want to use the most abundant resources you have if, if, it's, if it doesn't make a difference. So if we use four string, four wicker, and it looks like five wood, we get one basket that makes you easier to gather. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now we have to sign a job here, and the job will be given to Milosh. It'll take him four turns to make that. So now that's a done deal. Next, we're going to do some cooked meals. If now, uh, if we take this guy right here and put him there. We take them again and put them here. And we take some wood and put it here. We get cured uh, jerky. It'll give us eight. Okay, so let's go ahead and confirm that. And then we'll use our other crafter to do that. And so two turns. We're going to go ahead and do it times two. So in three turns, he'll produce 16 jerky. The jerky is better than regular meat. Eventually we can do construction. In order to make a pasture, we need to have 25 wood, any of these metal catalysts, which could be fruits, vegetables, or wheat, and then 10 more wood as a, as a fuel source. And it'll give us a pasture that does what exactly? It's um, not gonna tell me? Oh, I think I can find out probably in here. Um, uh, rearing your own animals means your people will not need to hunt so often. Grants meat each turn. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, let's go and close that. Okay, so that's all set up. We now have people gathering. Um, sorry, uh, gathering. So two turns, we'll get seven wood and twelve nuts. Um... We have people that are crafting. Four turns for this nice gathering tool. And three turns to get some jerky. Okay. Uh, actually, we could probably go ahead and equip these guys too. I probably should do that actually. Uh, let's make sure they at least mostly all have a weapon. Let's go ahead and give her that one. We'll give him this one. And we'll give this guy this one. Okay. And then you guys can both grab a shield. You can have that one. So you got shield weapon, shield weapon, weapon. And you'll just, I guess, have a shield. Let's give them the four shielding. Four, five, six, six. Eh, either way. All right, so here's a shield at least. Okay. And we'll go ahead and close that up. Okay, so I think we're pretty good to go ahead and take... Uh, if we look at the map here, we could stay here one turn and get wood, but it's no big deal if we don't. All right. Um, let's go ahead and move here. Okay, there's uh, spiders there. So let's go. Ahead, so now we're going to end our turn. We did everything we can do. We're going to end our turn. And once again, I'm explaining a lot of things to you guys, so sorry it's taking so long. Hopefully it's not too boring or it seems too complicated. Once you play it or once you start going here, it'll, it'll be a little easier. Okay, so now turn two. So they want us to fight these boars. We can do that. Let's go ahead and get down here. You find the boars Theodore told you about. 
there is only a couple, so it should not be too hard. However, instead of a straight fight, you can try to do a proper hunt. If you have the right skills, that is. Or better yet, you can go all native on these beasties and wrestle them to the ground. Not an easy option, that one. Okay, so skulls represent how hard it'll be. And some challenges give the option to, to, to opt out. So let's go ahead and go hunting. Great. You have the right skill, in this case gathering, to enter into an alternate challenge. In non-fight challenges, the wounds you get during the challenge do not carry over after it finishes, meaning you have less of a risk of dying. Okay. So there's two hunting cards that we're going to be fighting against. So let's go ahead and do com combat in this game is very interesting. Okay, so... Before each challenge, your people cards, your your people's cards are split between offense and tactical hands. Here you have the option to reshuffle if you don't like the draw over here. You will learn more about challenges and their mechanics once the challenge begins. Okay. So we're not going to reshuffle. We're going to go ahead and, and keep it and go ahead and play it. Okay. Okay. So I get to go first. Um, I could play a tactic card, which is over here, which if I play get closer, it allows me to put the guy in, but then he's confused for one turn, I believe. Yes. Um, so let's go ahead and play my what looks to be my best guy, which is this guy right here with 15 defense. Okay. And then down here it tells you how many cards you can play at the time, which I already played one, so now I'm down to zero. This would just automatically skip the phase and start, I would, I would put no more cards out. They would put both these out, and then it would start the actual combat phase. I want to just go ahead and proceed with this and give them their chance. So now they're going to play their card. Okay. Now that's confused though, so it's going to—it's not going to—it's not going to attack the first turn. So now it's my turn. I get to put out two cards. So I'm going to put out, I guess, this guy right here, and this guy right here. Sure, why not? And then I'll go ahead and hit that again, and they'll go ahead and put out theirs. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and use get closer, get closer, and get closer. And then we can go ahead and either hit this or just hit that. We'll just hit that. Okay, here we go. So I'll attack this guy. Okay, and then he'll attack. Okay. Okay, phase two, I'll attack that guy again. Alright, so that guy's dead. Alright, so we won. Uh, fighting this game is really... You stalked the boars like a pro and caught them unaware. Your loot may not be as plentiful as a straight fight, but you did not risk getting wounds, so your people will not have the danger of dying now. Okay, so here's what we got for that. We got 12 meat, we got some bones, and we got some leather. And we're going to take it and leave. And we get 1 XP. Okay, now we have two turns left. We can go back to, what's his name, I believe? Theodore welcomes you. Well, hello there. I see you're finding your feet and making first steps into the world. Well done. Okay, we have the bones. Wonderful. Well done. And keep your resources. They may come in handy on a rainy day, you know. As you saw, you got both experience points and research points, on top of any material rewards. All of these will help you grow stronger. Mm -hmm. Okay, got some vegetables. Okay, we so we gain experience and research by doing such tasks. And we can get rewards. So now what? So... You've discovered that some events will let you solve a situation through more than combat. These non-combat challenges are often just as hard, but it means that fighting is not the only way. Remember, wounds from combat challenges can kill your people even after the fight. So choosing a different path is often safer, and having a medic in your party will help decrease the chances of dying as well. Anyway, great job on the boars! Okay, so let's go ahead and say thanks. Practice makes perfect, you know. So now that the boars are done for, let's practice one more challenge type. Social encounters. I spotted a fellow demon called Hurlick, and I want you to convince him to give you some gold. 
When you have it, bring it back here. Okay, go and talk to Holick and get him to give us the gold. Got it. All right, he'll be on the map. I guess that's him right there. Uh, two rabid bears, one treasure, and two others. Okay. So, we'll have to do that next turn. Uh, if we go back to Astoya now, we can look at how they're doing. The next turn, they will get both those things. Uh, crafting is still two turns there and three turns there, but it's going well. Um, we still only have um, meat, but we're making jerky, so that's going pretty well too. Okay, so we're going to close that. We have done, you know what, let's go ahead and, and look at what we're going to do for research now. Um, we could get the smithy, which... Um, a proper place for crafting items and equipment increases the crafting skill and unlocks the chance to craft good quality items. Children growing up to be crafts and receive five more skill points. So, um, smithy's a good first building to get. Um, there's also a well. And then we uh, there's crafting. We can go for swords or maybe some armor. And if there was something here that we really wanted to try to focus on as far as gathering, we could go for that as well. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take the smithy though. And we'll go ahead and confirm that. Okay, so we just used our skill point. And um, this is, we're all done, right? Yep, moved our turns there. All right, so we're all set. We're gonna go ahead and go to the next turn. And we'll go ahead and take these guys and start heading down to those guys over there. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, but I, so, so it should be fine. Okay, the best way to slay a beast is eye-to-eye -eye attack fight. All right, so we got three spiders. Let's go ahead and this is gonna be combat now this time. Okay, so this looks like it's gonna be pretty decent for us. So keep in play. Let's go ahead and see. Now we have our actual stuff here. That last challenge was a what kind of challenge was that last one? Do, 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 do. It was a... It wasn't social. It was a hunt. I think it was a gathering challenge or some nonsense like that. Whatever it was, it was horrible. Now we're doing a fighting challenge, which you can see now my guys have 12 attack, 16 attack, 3 attack, whatever. Uh, and then there are defenses on the upper left. So it's our turn first. Now I could skip my turn and let them go first. Uh, but there's no need to do that. We're going to go ahead and put out this guy right here. And then we'll go ahead and give them their turn now. Brought out a spider. It's now my turn. We will go ahead and... Now I can shield this ally. I can just get closer. What else can I do? Um, I can play two cards. So I could... Put this guy out. And then... I guess I can't do that. Why, I wonder. Oh, because he's level 3 and she's level 2. First action, left most allied card in the queue. Okay. Maybe because he's already at the beginning of the queue? Yeah, probably. Okay. I can't do that or that. Okay. So, we're fine. Two cards. Um, let's go and have this guy just get closer. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll go ahead and next turn. Um, let's go ahead and shield him. Mm, right to most card in the queue. Equally to shield ally. Uh, Let's go ahead and confuse that spider. So now he won't be attacking. Hmm. Okay. You know, I think he's already confused, wasn't he? Am I crazy? I think he was. Where'd that guy go? Oh, he's right there. Um. Yeah, we'll confuse that spider. And we're gonna go ahead and play because I don't actually want to put them out because I'm afraid they might die because they only have like five hit points. Yeah. 
So we'll shoot attack that spider and they should be dead. Yeah, okay. So that was it. That's it. We won. Could have just... Yep. Okay, so uh, we got one spider silk and one nuts. We're going to close that. And we were still moving, I believe. What's on here? Anyways, some more nuts. Okay, so let's go ahead and move down here. And Astoria is all set. They're still going to be gathering, I believe, and looking for their stuff, right? Yep, last turn on that. Crafting is still two and one. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this turn up. Okay, turn number four. Let's go ahead and get these guys and bring them down to this event down here. You find the Hurlick Theodore spoke of. He sits on a rock and stares at you with his large yellow eyes. What do you want? You looking for trouble? Because I could get you some. He clenches his tiny fists at you. Okay, so we could do a social right now. Let's tr see what this does for us. Little? Who are you calling little, you overgrown pile of softy fish bags, you? The creature huffs and puffs at you, shaking its fists violently. Okay, so let's try this one, I guess. Sir, don't you see that I am a woman? Ah, oh, but a compliment, you say? Well, I suppose being little is way better than being big. So you're kind of clever to call each other little, even though you're clearly vertically challenged. So, what's your business here? Okay, let's do a social. Okay, let's go ahead and begin this. Sure. Okay, my turn first. Oh my god, this looks... Not good at all. Looks like she's my best one, and looks like wow, this is not good. Oh my god, okay, I guess we'll just see what happens here. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Um, okay. If I support him, I think it gives him two. He's going to do four damage. I guess let's try this. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, I was thinking it was shield. Oh my god. Okay. Now he is going to attack first. It's not going to matter though, I don't think. We want her to probably get in there. Yeah. Oh, I have to finish my turn. Okay, let's see what these guys do. Okay, they just give him a huge boost. Oh my god. Alright, let's go ahead and get closer with her. Now, this is not a combat thing, so this is not a... So this, you know, I shouldn't die, I don't think. Um, so I could give her more offense or more defense. Let's go ahead and give her more defense. Shield ally. Yeah. Okay. They'll bring out their other guy, which hopefully is as weak as mine. Yes, they're very weak. Okay. And then we'll bring out both of our other guys, and we'll just hope that we survive this. He should attack him. He could attack him or her. Then she will attack one of the two. And then I believe he's going to attack one of these two. And then he will attack... I think that's how it's going to go. We'll just see what happens here. Okay. So he killed him. Okay, so the okay, so that bee is dead. Okay, and then we'll do fight two. He's gonna attack her, I'm assuming, and she'll kill him. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, keep and play. Should be me versus one card now. It is. But he does have twelve and five. Hmm. Four, three, two. She's down to four. Still my best attacker, though. Hmm. Well, if he attacks once, he's going to kill anybody who doesn't have at least five. And then I need to do 12 damage. So let's go ahead and... You're a meat shield. Okay. And then... Yeah. 
know what? Let's just do it like this. And then... Yeah, I think we'll just go like this. And then he should kill, I think, one person. I don't know. We'll see. I'm. This is fighting to me is confusing mm. this game. So he's dead. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, now he's gonna kill this guy again, I believe. Mm. And then we should be able to take him out. Okay. We won. Okay. Um, still don't really understand right, what's going on, but right. okay. Theodore is clearly up to his old tricks, sending you here for his gold. Here you go, and tell him to come himself next time. Okay, so that's okay. So he gave me the gold. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. We're all set. Um, level one bees. So have two movement spaces. Let's see what we got here as far as any resources. No. We want to go back to Theodore. So we can probably go ahead and do that. Hungry and living, that sounds wonderful. Okay, these guys I think might have finished something. Let's see here. Uh, gathering. Uh, crafting. Okay, so one of our crafting things was done. It was the food, I believe. So let's see here. So now we can tell we don't have enough resources to do either one of this. So now we can we could do some clothing for the heck of it. Well, what's this guy all about? Oh. Green gemstone. Hmm. Uh, it sounds like maybe that's something important that I can't actually get. I don't know. Uh, let's try something leathery. Three, two, two. It looks like five. I think we actually have five. Boom. So this will give us a three-in-one armor type thing. Now we can go ahead and swap all this out and see what we can get with just using some string. That and some string. Just two armor. Two armor. Okay, so... Uh, okay, let's try you. you oh, we're not, we need six of those. Okay, so that's not going to work. Let's go ahead and try this and see if this gives us. So three and one. And three and one. So that's interesting. No, let's try this. Just two. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this pattern right here. It'll give us a three armor with one dexterity. And we'll go ahead and confirm that. And we will get our crafter on it. It'll take him one turn. And then we can queue up some cooked meals as well. Uh, we can make a couple more jerkies, I think. Confirm. Oh, whoops. Need some wood. Regular wood. Confirm that. And we'll do another two. Once one, when one of these finished, they will automatically drop down and finish this guy off. Or start that guy. All right, we'll close that. I think we're good for this turn. Let's go ahead and finish it. You lose your footing and fall into a really deep ditch. You quickly realize you are not alone. Oh my god, I was fence. just talking about this pit vipers. Okay, so I guess shoot. Okay. Um random event. We're gonna try to climb back out. We need to pass four physical shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Okay. He's our strongest guy. He'll go out first. Oh, piercing damage. So he does... Man, wow. He did, I think, four damage right off the bat. Or three damage. Okay. What is this? Leech. Okay. Okay. Now, if we counter tactic... Mm, these guys look like they're about the same level. If we counter tactic, it means it could get rid of one of these cards. Uh, we could confuse him. He has 10 health. Uh, it's like a big mathematic game. It's so hard to, to try to really nail down. It's not easy at all. Um, okay. Now, let me think. Just give me a second to think here. 
I think I could successfully waste this card with a, either a counter tactic or a counter offense. Let's do counter tactic. Okay, so we just eliminated that card. That card is gone now. Okay, and I can do one more card. And I think I should probably try... Hmm. Random card from opponent's tactics hand to card level. Discarded cards level must be equal or less than counter tactic level. So um, basically I'd be hoping that that is a three or that is a two. Mm, I'm not sure. Really not sure. Must be equal to or less than the counter. Okay. So equal to or lesser than this level right here. Okay. Counter offense. Um, we could probably get rid of that offense card. Maybe. If I had to guess. I don't really know 100%. Let's go ahead and bring out another fighter and give them their turn. Okay. We get to do one more card. Let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and we'll have you get closer. And then we'll confuse. Oh, we can't. Okay. Uh, we can confuse you and then bring you out. Okay, so this is basically a four on. Let's go ahead and see how this works. That sucks. So that one's dead. Okay, now they're gonna kill that guy, probably. He's dead. That one's dead. Okay. Okay, so. Keep in play. Yes. Hmm. Yes, okay. Alright, so let's go with you. Okay, we'll go with you, and then we'll shield you. Um, we need to do 16 damage. 9 and 9 is 18. So I can't confuse you because you're higher than that, okay. So I guess we'll just get closer. And then we'll just go like that. And then this should, should work out. We should be fine. You should go ahead and you're going to attack him. Okay. He's going to attack somebody, but then that person going to attack him back. And that should be it. Okay. See, that's easy, back right? Everyone understands. Before the snakes attack. Whew. Good. Leave this place. And for the time being, we have a little bit of dexterity. Okay. All right. Did we get to... We're still moving here, right? Yeah. Okay. Theodore welcomes you. Well, hello. Okay, end of the world. Yes, I we've got the gold. Oh, good. You got the gold. That wretched woman owes me, but I have no desire to speak to her. Anyway, it's a matter of principles rather than the gold itself, so just keep it. You may need it to craft better stuff, you know. Wretched woman. Has he looked in a mirror? Okay. Thanks. In social challenges, as you saw, you will face your opponent, but different skill sets become relevant, such as speech, attractiveness, and will. So just remember, different challenges use different skills, and so your party composition can have a great impact on the way you explore the world. As you perhaps noticed, you got research points as well as XP. You need research points to discover new materials and recipes Alrighty. for crafting, and new buildings for your village. Right, so I get both experience, research, knowledge points by exploring and even killing stuff. Got it. Now, you will notice that some equipment, as well as buildings in your village, require a lot of stuff. Often things that are not easily gathered or commonly found. For such needs, I also recommend scouring the world map in search of old ruins, abandoned tunnels, ancient towers. You get the gist, right? 
It so happens that I know of an old dungeon that you can explore and loot. I have marked this place on your map. What a guy. Thanks. So our materials are also found in the world through both events and places of interest. Is there anything more I can bring you? Well, yes. I have a second task for you to do at okay. any time you're ready. Craft. Craft me ten cooked, baked, or roasted food. Any type. You may want to research some varieties as well to match your supplies. Also, leave these ten crafted foods in the village until I show up. You don't have to rush with this one. Mm -hmm. Take your time and get to grips with managing your settlement. Remember to check the magical help button to read more. Oh. Yeah, I know more about any mechanics. Okay. All right, explore the dungeon, craft ten cooked baked roasted foods till later then. Bye. Okay, he's going to give us some science, some experience. Awesome. That is what he wants us to explore over there. So what we can do is... I don't think we can do anything, actually. We can go here. We could maybe grab this wood. Is that a thing or no? If I camp here, which I actually can't apparently, no. Okay, the village, let's check the village out. Okay, we are still gathering. We've got some good amount of wood now. We're getting some good nuts. Can we eat the nuts? Let's eat the nuts, yeah. Okay, we're eating everything, that's good. That's good to see. Um, in case you can't, t you didn't notice, down here there's gonna be tons of food down here, okay. We're gonna learn different recipes, and then we get a bonus. So right now we're at three different kinds of food, and so we get plus one will. At four, we get one shielding, one dexterity. At five, we get plus one movement points. Now, that might not be important in the city, but it also implies to like, the party. So the party I have that's away, they um, have um, the same type of, you know, circumstances based on what they have too. So... Uh, if you have 10 different types of food on you, then you get all these bonuses, plus you get another, so you basically get two extra movement spaces, so. Anyway, so let's see where we're at here. Oh, we got our gathering tools. So let's check out our dudes here. Equipment. Okay, so they're gathering six, and theirs is five. So we can take them and go ahead and give this to them. And now... Their gathering is now eight, so I give them a plus three gathering. Okay. Uh, as far as this armor goes, three armor, one dexterity. Um, this guy only has a shield. Let's go ahead and give him the armor. Okay, for the time being. And we'll go ahead and close. Or wait, do we finish our crafting production? Okay, so they're both working on beef jerky. We don't have enough resources for that stuff, so let's go ahead and close that. Okay. Yeah. So they're both working on the beef jerky. Now, if you notice, he has four crafting, so it gives us 40. Any person you put after that for as a helper, it, I believe it only uses half. So he might be 40 here, but over here he's only 20. That's why it's plus 60. So um, that'll finish in two turns. We'll go ahead and close that. And um, let's go ahead and finish that turn up. Yes, wonderful. You made your first batch of prepared food. No longer are you a mere scavenger. Now you can cook. Crafted foods are more efficient than the raw stuff, so you may want to take them when you're out exploring, as they are lighter to carry. So now I have a harder task for Ooh. you. Build me a building in your village. Any building will do. Good luck. All right, then. One building to build off. What? Oh, to build. Off we go. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, looks like we got another science. Research. Uh, we still haven't really uncovered too much. There's some leather there still. That's nice to know. There is spider silk, clay, dryad. Oh, okay, elven wood. That's what I meant. And then dark wood. So if we wanted to pick up another gathering thing, we could... Um, 
as far as our inventory goes in the city, do we have anything good? We have some gold. We have some quartz. Um, we have uh, some dr scaled leather now. Um, nothing really to make, like a, uh, we can make a gold weapon, I guess, but let's go ahead and close that. And what I want to do is bring our, bring our, our group in here. And then what we'll do is we'll trade and you can shift click. So shift click that, 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 um, you used to have a lot of vegetables, but they're, looks like they're gone now pretty much. We'll put those in there and the spider silk. And if we go down here, you can kind of organize it by just food. We'll go ahead and give them like maybe 10 of these. Okay. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we have three cut three types of food there. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, manage supplies. I don't want to waste the vegetables. We can use them to make other cooked goods or whatever. Okay. Expedition one, we'll use all three of those. It'll give us a little bit more will. Okay, and we gave them the gold we had and whatever else we had on us. Okay, so production. Let's see if a building we can make. We could make a pasture, apparently, somehow. Let's see, we got 25 wood. Um, oh, I guess nuts. Okay. And then some more wood. No, that's not right. Oh, we could do this gold thing here. Okay, so if we were to go ahead with this design right here. Uh, with this particular design. What is this? It's regular wood. Yeah. If we're going to, if we want to, with this design right here, it would give us plus one food. Okay, each turn. And a chance for a human to join your village each turn and it would get this building out of the way and give us for science and researching um, and then yeah all that so um, hmm. I mean I guess I could do it. it's not really I mean the two goals not too bad we're getting tons of nuts and wood every single turn so miles to go ahead and do it. it's a free building right let's go ahead and just Confirm that. We'll get both of our guys on it. And uh, that'll be that, apparently. Oh, wait. Um, maybe just one of them? Nine turns? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're, not, we're not in any real hurry. Tools? What kind of tools can we make here? You. Some wood. Okay, and this is going to give us what? Plus two crafting. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see here. What's going on? Uh, dark wood. Plus two crafting. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right. So let's go. Plus two crafting. Give us a tool. We'll go ahead and confirm that. Uh. So he'll finish this, drop down there. This guy's going to take quite a while to make that. And then we have these guys still gathering the resources we need. Okay. And then you guys um, are looking pretty good. Yeah, okay. All right, so the deal here now is it has been almost an hour. Uh, the episode here. I did. I actually want to do 35 minute episodes, so I definitely went over. I'm sorry, but uh, there was a lot to go in the first episode here. Um, we really have only made it through six turns. I do. If the game is not boring, please. I hope that you don't think it is. There's a lot going on. I know there's a lot to learn and, and look at, but the game is. It's fun. I'm telling you. It's it's a turn based strategy RPG open world whatever this thing is to you. I don't know, but it's fun. And the story hopefully isn't too, too terrible. And I'm going to keep playing. We're going to play a series. We're going to do it. And it's going to be a good time. So 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking there with me. And there'll be more to come. All right, guys. Take it easy. D'Artagnan out.